Hey everyone, so today in this tutorial, I will show you how you can fix this WordPress white blank screen error. Uh, it is also called as the white death screen. So what happens is WordPress uh, does not show anything on the screen and it is just uh, shows a blank screen. So what happens and usually it happens when there is some fatal error on your WordPress site. So uh, I will show you try I will show you if I try to load my website uh, and you can see there's nothing on the screen and it's just a blank page and it's the same thing if I try to access the admin area and you can see it's still there's nothing on the screen. So uh, I will show you how you can fix this and uh, let's try to and before we I do that I will try uh, let me explain why it happens the most common reasons are it's uh, an issue with the plugin that is um, you installed a new plugin or, uh, or you updated a plugin and your website stopped working or you installed a new theme or updated a theme and your website stopped working now it can happen because of poor hosting services which caused interruption during the installation process or it just happened accidentally or there was some issue with the plugin itself or the theme itself or there was, was some issue with the WordPress core which is very rare but um, if, but if that happens we what we have to do is try it first we will see uh, we'll have to go to the let's go to the C panel and from C panel go to file manager and here uh, locate your website folder which contains all the website data files so usually if you don't know where it is usually it is in the public HTML folder so just open it it should be here your website folder where um, but for me it is uh, here and um, okay because I'm using multiple websites on the server so um, this is the WP folder where I'm hosting my site and this is all the files so now first thing what you have to do is to identify the problem uh, look for this error.log file so if it is present on your server uh, this will make your task very easy to identify the problem and as you can see here and uh, there is a fatal uh, PHP warning PHP fatal error and it is showing me this plug WP content plugins contact form this plugin is causing error on my site uh, because of this plugin my website is not working okay now but like what happens if um, if the setter dot log is not present on your website so what you can do is go to WP config dot PHP select this file and then right click and edit and then scroll down and look for WP debug uh, by default it is set to false to for security reasons so that it does, uh, does not show sensitive information to the public so what we have to do is to diagnose the issue we, we will change it to true and click on save changes and now let's try to reload our website and let's see and now as you can see it is showing us some info warning require once and then here you can see what, which plugin is causing the issue or which theme or whatever is causing the issue and uh, this will help you in diagnosing the main cause so from here uh, you can tell that the this contact form 7 plugin is causing the issue so after identifying the issue what uh, you have to do is again change this to false okay now we know what does the what is which plugin is causing the error again go back to the file manager go to WP content and from here uh, we'll go to plugins and this is the plugin which is causing an error for me so what I will do is select it right click rename rename it to 
old just change the plugin folder name and now ideally wordpress will not load this plugin so your error should go away and your wordpress site should work normally let's try to reload this website and as you can see it is working normally now and there is no error everything is working perfectly so what happens is when we rename the plugin folder it uh, wordpress automatically deactivates it it cannot find the plugin and it does not load it so okay let's uh, to show you just go to the install plugins and here you will see this the plugin contact form 7 has been deactivated due to an error wordpress will show you that uh, it cannot find the plugin files and thus has it has been deactivated so from here there are two options either to activate or delete it so what i would suggest is to delete it and if you want to really if you really need the plugin you can uh, just go to add new and from there search the plugin and reinstall it reinstall installing any plugin on wordpress is very simple so this is how you fix this issue and um, and if you uh, cannot see uh, if you cannot see the correct data in error log or the php headers uh, if you cannot identify which plugin or theme is causing the issue you what you can do is um, by hit and trial method you can try renaming each fold each plugin folder once like this for example i will rename this um, kismet plugin to hold and then try to reload your website and see if it is working or not if it is working then you know which is the plugin was which plugin was causing the error so and if it still doesn't work what you have to do is rename uh, change it back to its original name and then similarly rename another plugin folder and then again go back and check if your website started working if it starts working then you know then it's everything is fine you don't have to uh, rename other plugins uh, and if it doesn't work you have to rename the next plugin so by one by one you have to check which plugin is causing the issue and um, if you really need it urgently so you know what you can do is to know if it is the plugins or theme you can also rename the entire plugins folder but this will do it this will re uh, deactivate all the plugins present on your wordpress website so please be careful when you use this option and as you can see all the plugins on my wordpress website has been deactivated so to prevent this kind of issue what i suggest everyone is to use a good hosting you can see my recommended host and because a lot of time these issues are caused by poor shared hostings so um, if you can afford to pay for a good hosting please um, you know if you need any suggestion post in the comments or there will be a link in the comment of hostings i recommend and um, and i only recommend those hosting which i know are good i have personally used them and tested them and um, i won't just recommend you any random hosting and the second most important thing i suggest people to do is to take backups backups is very important website gets hacked there are issues with plugin there and they could anything could happen with server and all your hard work will be lost so this is why backups are so important and creating wordpress backups are very is very easy and you don't even have to pay for it if you want you can just use free plugins it works just fine but if you have a professional website and um, you can pay for a plugin and that will just make your life much more easier and even if you don't want to pay for it there are much easier ways to take backup of wordpress and i have shown you complete free way to create backup of wordpress with and without plugin so if you want to watch that video go check out my link and uh, probably there will be also be a link in the description 
so um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you still need any help please post in the comments and I will help you uh, okay thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video